The name pecora in Italian means sheep. So why on earth does a grape variety have a name like pecorino? Where does this funny name originate and come from? Well, there are a few theories and no, none of them have anything to do with the famous and delicious Italian sheep's milk cheese. So the name pecorino is one of those legends where it depends who you ask. The first theory derives the name pecorino from the favorite treat for the flocks of sheep driven to pastures in the Abruzzo hills. According to another theory, it was actually the herders themselves that would munch on the grapes while driving the sheep. And finally, one last theory says the name comes from the shape of the bunch of the grape cluster, which can be seen as somewhat similar to that of a sheep's head. So which theory do you like the most? Go ahead and let us know in the comments below. Personally, I kind of see the sheep's head in the grape cluster, but I also love the idea of the herders plucking the clusters off to snack on in the afternoon sun with their sheeps just grazing near them. Hi everybody, I'm Jacqueline Ferrero, and we go around the world searching out small production and artisanal wines. And today I want to tell you about the Pecorino grape variety. Later on, we'll also taste this Roland, a great expression of Pecorino from the Febo family winery in Abruzzo, Italy. Pecorino is a rare grape variety native to Le Marche and Abruzzo regions of central Italy along the Adriatic coastline. It's an ancient variety that was almost forgotten in the 20th century before seeing a revival in the 1990s. Nowadays, it's getting more and more attention thanks to the work of a handful of producers that strongly believed in the quality of this variety. It has even been cited in the New York Times as one of the 10 uncommon grape varieties that make joyful wines. In this article, the author, Eric Asimov, refers to Pecorino as sharp, energetic, and herbal. And rightfully so. In general, Pecorino has a naturally high acidity level and is highly concentrated due to low productivity of the vines. This results in wines that tend to have concentrated flavors and aromas and are quite high in alcohol, with levels as high as 14% being common. They display distinct herbal notes of thyme, mint, or sage, accompanied by a fresh and fruity notes of crisp apples and pears, and are generally considered medium body wines. And now, it's time to talk about this Roland, which is unlike any Pecorino you've had. It's a natural and vegan wine made of 100% Pecorino coming from the Febo family's organic and biodynamic vineyards in Abruzzo. And it has everything that we said that you can expect from a Pecorino. It's just all dialed up to 11. It has an orange hue due in part to some skin contact and also to the past several years of drought in Abruzzo, which have created grapes with a high concentration of flavor, resulting in wines with very intense aromas and flavors. You can feel right away the natural concentration of the fruit in this wine, sensing it on the palate, along with some bitter polyphenols and flavors of ripe fruit, like bitter orange, herbs, and dried apricot that all wrap up in a saline and savory finish. If you like a bold white wine, you've got to try this. And thanks to Vero, you're in luck because you can buy this wine in our online shop at verovino.com. The link will be in the description below. On a final note, there is a great story behind the name of this wine, Roland. In 2021, when Vero founder Sheila Donahue started importing Fabo's wines to the US, she tasted their Pecorino as well, which at the time wasn't even labeled. And she liked it so much that she insisted she had to include it in the first Fabo shipment that was due to ship shortly. So brother and sister team, Davide and Laura Fabo, the owners of the winery who took over from their grandfather, Rolando, had to rush in a race against time to get the label approved and everything taken care of. A few days before the shipping, Sheila received the label and it had no name for the wine on it, so they had to quickly come up with a name. That was the same day that after a family lunch, Davide got back with the name, Roland, in honor of their grandfather, who had been instrumental to the development of the winery. It's such a great story, and I think Nono Rolando would be very proud to have his name on this bottle. Thank you very much for watching and joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It goes a long way in helping us. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.